Hi folks, I'm Emma O'Brien and this is your 2021 lockdown survival guide for photographers and creative business owners. So chances are wherever you are in the world, you are restricted with what you can do for work. I'm recording this on the 6th of January 2021 um, and I speak with great experience having been through a very hard lockdown here in South Africa where I live. We were put into lockdown at the end of March last year and it lasted until um, the middle of August. Um, so I'm going to be sharing in this video the tools and strategies I used to navigate my photography business through effectively three months of not being able to work and what I did to keep generating income and to actually stay in business and to finish strong um, at the end of the lockdown and to be able to be pretty much fully booked with clients as soon as I was able to start working again. So I'm going to start off by saying to you, when we're faced with a situation like the unique one we are in now, you've got two choices. You can sit on your hands and you can moan and complain and be anxious and worry and waste time, or you can choose to accept what's happening and use the time you have been given to work on your business. And I know uh, I would suggest choosing the latter. So I'm going to share with you the strategies that I used during the lockdown we had here um, and what I did to really set my photography business up for success once I was able to start shooting again. So the first thing I did, which I've touched on already, is I took a bit of time to process through uh, not being able to go to work and to get into a state of accepting what had happened. Um, I, from, from my own life experience, um, and I'm sure most of you can relate, is that when something like this happens, we often spend a lot of time fighting it and feeling like it's unfair and feeling angry about it and being frustrated. And effectively, by kicking against something all the time, you just create more unhappiness. And it's a massive waste of energy. So do whatever you can do to get to a stage of accepting that it is what it is, and you've been given some time, and you've got some things you can do in it to keep your business moving forward. Now, it took me a good week or so to actually get to the stage of being able to accept it and pull myself together and start taking some proper action. So you might want to sit with a journal, you might want to talk it through with a friend, you might want to talk it through with a therapist, whatever it is you need to do, but get yourself to a stage of accepting so you are ready to start taking some constructive action. Once you're kind of at a bit of an even keel and you're thinking, right, okay, this is, this is what it is, got a bit of time, what am I going to do with it? So I would advise brainstorming um, what it is you're going to do with the time. What haven't you been getting to that you now have the time to get to? Um, so you can put an action plan in place to really start to use the time you've got wisely. So that might, might, might mean redoing your website, totally updating your website, updating the copy on your website, um, updating your newsletter template. There are so many things that we don't get to as busy photographers and creatives that you now have got a gap to work on. So make a list of all of these niggly little things and make a plan for how you're going to work on them and when you're going to get to that. Um, very importantly, it, the, the best thing you can do at the moment is to follow up with anybody who owes you money. So if you've got clients who've got outstanding invoices, um, or if like me, you take a deposit, you do a shoot, and then you um, take the balance once you've seen the client and they've done their final order, um, Obviously, you probably can't get to your clients now. So I would just send out some very polite e emails and just asking for balance payments from clients. Um, now is the time to get as much money banked as you possibly can. Um, and I did this. I followed up with all of the clients who had outstanding stuff. And I said, look, you know, could you, could you really, really help me out? Um, I know you've not had your stuff yet. I know we've not had a chance to go through everything. But if you could pay the balance of your shoot fee, I would be really, really grateful. Everybody paid it. No questions asked. And I had a couple of clients who even said to me, do you know what, could we prepay a deposit for our next shoot if that would help you out? So I've sort of a great big lesson for me with that was if you don't ask, you don't get. Um, and it is really important to make sure you have collected in all of your outstanding money because that's really going to be very useful for you. Um, I started offering gift vouchers for photo shoots that people could pay for now and book later on in the year. Um, and I generated quite a chunk of income in doing that. 
Um, again, if you don't ask, you don't get. And we've got to be proactive and creative with how we're generating income. Um, you might also go back to old clients and see if they'd like to order some more prints from a shoot. A lot of people are sitting at home and they're perhaps thinking about decorating. They're perhaps looking at blank walls. It's an opportunity to see if you could um, make an upsell to some of your existing clients. If you shoot any fine art prints, or maybe you'd like to start shooting fine art prints, you could start looking at whether you could offer print sales. Really just start to brainstorm what other ways could you generate income. Another thing that I did was I offered online photography lessons for people. It's not generally something I do. Um, I, I, you know, my, my passions are my photography business and my coaching business in terms of business coaching. I'm not really too phased about teaching people how to use cameras, but you know what? There was an opportunity and I took it. And I had a few people who booked in for photography lessons with me, which we did via Zoom, generated some income for me whilst I was sitting at my desk. Um, I kept up my schedule of posting on social media and I made sure I kept sending newsletters out to my mailing list. And what I concentrated on with that was providing content that would entertain people and engage my audience and build my relationship with my audience. Um, obviously, I did a little bit of selling with the gift vouchers, but I wasn't, you know, I wasn't every other post, you know, buy a gift voucher, buy a gift voucher, because Everybody's in the same boat in a lockdown. Um, and I think we have to keep that in mind and we have to look at it and go, how could I be of service to my clients and how could I better connect to my clients? So we had a, um, a little foster puppy who's still here uh, that we got at the beginning of lockdown. She, was, she is an absolute character. Um, I shot lots of pictures of her. I shared updates of her on social media. She got huge traction on my Instagram page. Everybody kind of um, started to bond with Ziggy and we're asking everybody, even when I see clients now, how Ziggy, um, you know, so it was a really, really good way for me to relationship build with, with clients and with, um, with my audience. So keep up posting, don't stop. I made new work. Lots of it was of Ziggy. Um, I've also got um, a daughter here and I have a fiance who's very reluctant to be photographed, but I've got people here I could photograph. Um, and you know what, we're creative people, get creative. Make some new work at home. Um, just see, see what you can do, experiment with new techniques. Um, I'm lucky enough to have a studio at home, um, but maybe you know, even if you don't, how could you experiment with making some, some new work and sharing that? And just how could you get more creative with what you've got? at home. Um, the more you keep your creative brain busy, the more it gives you content to share, the more it keeps you occupied away from the kind of worry and the anxiety. Um, and you, you, know, you might find you branch out into something entirely new. So it's really important. Keep shooting, keep making work. I also connected with other creative business owners. So obviously I've got two businesses. I've got my photography business and my coaching business. Um, and to be able to keep making content um, that um, was applicable for my coaching business, I reached out on Instagram via some of the groups I'm in with a whole bunch of other creative entrepreneurs all around the world. And I interviewed them and we talked about creativity. We talked, um, you know, we talked about business. We talked about social media management, we talked about all sorts of things. If you go to my um, Facebook page, Mentoring for Creatives, and have a look under the videos there, you will find a whole host of videos. And I literally set um, an intention to create content that would be inspirational and educational for my coaching audience. And it was a really big hit and I connected with a load of other people. It was fantastic. Um, so just think about what you can do to keep yourself busy and to keep kind of growing your audience and your reach from your desk. It's entirely possible. Um, I kept work, working with my own coach on my mindset. That's a really big thing at the moment and my business goals. So I know a lockdown kind of really does interfere with business goals when you can't go out and shoot but you can be doing other things. Um, and I think mindset is a really big piece to think about here at the moment as well. We are being bombarded with negativity from the media. And I think often um, it can be almost a bit addictive to keep checking the COVID stats and keep checking the news and keep checking what's going on. But do you know what? It doesn't help in any shape or form to constantly be filling your brain with panic and worry. So. My advice for, for shifting your mindset is turn the news off and don't look at it. 
Um, you know, as long as you are taking your precautions when you're going out, you're wearing your mask, you're not doing anything silly. Um, you know, you'll, <laughs> um, after our president talks here, I just opened Facebook to see what he said. Um, <laughs> Everybody else will keep you updated. So if you can be very conscious of um, where the negative inf influences come from, um, be very conscious of what it is you're consuming that makes you feel anxious and stop consuming it and go and do something else. Go and shoot, go and create, go and read, go and listen to an inspirational podcast, go and do something else. Fill your brain with something else other than the, the negative news. There's nothing you can do about it, so you don't need to keep looking at it. Um, and lastly, I watch tutorials, I listen to podcasts, I bought a couple of online courses and I worked my way through them, things like Facebook ads, um, I look, you know, kind of did a little bit on website search engine optimization. So I just had a look and I, I just looked and thought, you know, what would I like to upskill on and, and where are the resources I can do that because this is a really good chance to be able to upskill. Um, and it's so important that we take advantage of this. So um, I can honestly say to you that I did quite relentlessly sit and take action <laughs> during lockdown. Um, I'm one of these people, I'm a, I'm a bit of an action taker most of the time. It paid off in a really big way. As soon as we were able to start shooting again, I had phone calls, bookings and inquiries from people who had been engaging with me throughout lockdown on my social media who'd said to me, we really appreciate your content you've been sharing. I've really enjoyed it. It's time for me to book a shoot with you now. So this work will pay off if you put the effort in now. Um, so, so important because it just redirects um, your, your brain from being worried and anxious, which of course naturally we are. This is, this is, a, this is a huge time of unknown uncertainty and it's scary. Um, but like I said at the beginning of the video, you can choose to sit on your hands and obsess over how scary and worrying and awful it is. Or you can say, right, I've got a bit of a gap here. What am I going to do with that time? Um, so I'm raring to go when this thing is over, because at some point it will be over. So with that in mind, um, I have got a really cool little free course that I put together called The Confident Creative. And effectively, it talks you through five ways you can book more clients in your business by making changes to the way you run your business. I know we can't um, book shoots in and actually go and do them at the moment, but there are lots of things and tweaks and techniques and strategies you can start to employ to really get your business ready for when you can book more clients in. And there are things you can be working on all the time to be improving your business um, and, and, and improving your craft and improving yourself as an entrepreneur. So the link to that is in the video description. You can have a look at that. Like I said, completely free. It's uh, five short videos um, and it's, I've, I've put quite a lot of um, information into it. So it'll be, it'll be really worthwhile looking at that. And if anybody would like to explore um, how, how working one-on-one -on -one with me on your business and your strategy could help you, you are very welcome to book a free strategy call in. The link is also in the video description as well. So, Keep going, uh, stay safe, and I will see you soon.